of course. Sorry, Facebook, I started you early. All right. Who is ready for the adult spring break blitz? I know many of you are like, the what? We as adults don't get to have spring break, and we're in a pandemic, Lisa. Don't you realize we're not allowed to go anywhere? Okay, okay. This is something I have been doing for three years already, and you can do it from home, and it is amazingly awesome. So I call this the adult spring break blitz. So first, let me tell you where it came from, and then we're going to get started. Years ago, I have two children. They're 19 and 21 now. Every year, they would have time off of school, which means I become a camp counselor, like in the middle of spring. And there were many, many years where we could not afford to go on a spring break vacation. Most of the years, we couldn't afford to go on a spring break vacation. So I would create fun camp-like experiences for my children for the week of spring break. And I thought, you know, I would like a spring break. I would like an adult spring break. And for me, my dream of an adult spring break is a week at home where I could just work on household-related projects. You know, those things you want to get done someday that never seem to make it to the top of the to-do list. Like, how about if we take a couple hundred dollars and pretend we're on spring break at home? and get done the things that are done at home. So that's what I wanna walk you through today. We're gonna to be talking about the Adult Spring Break Blitz. There are printables that go along with this. There will be a link on the IGTV or you can find it inside of our, um, whatever link we have on Instagram, on Facebook, the link is right below. On YouTube, the link will be right below. You can download these printables for free and walk through this five day adult spring break blitz. Now this may not be the week you actually do your blitz. You may do it a different week, but if you are doing it this week, I will walk you through it step by step, or you could do it any other week. If you're already in the 100 day home organization program and you have our current planner, just flip to the back and the printables are already in there for you. So if you're in the 100 day program, you already have the printables. This is just like a bonus week for you. All right, there are quite a few pages we're gonna go through. The first page is basically what I've already said. The last two pages are kind of my favorite. I love to print out calendars and then mark on them. So here you have your March and your April 2021 calendars. You can plan out whichever week is going to be your spring break or plan out your whole spring or whatever you want with that. The pages we're gonna focus on today are these two. And today, this is a planning day. Hey, you may say, oh, come on, Lisa, it's a nice day outside in Cincinnati or wherever you are. I want to dive right into my project. You can go ahead and do that, but you've probably done that before. And what I want to teach you over these next five days is how a professional organizer or someone born organized or who is organizationally inclined, such as myself, would attack a project. And how we attacked a project is first we plan. We actually spend a lot of time thinking and planning so that when we get into the project, everything goes easier and more smoothly. There is a quote that's been attributed, I think, to um, Franklin, no, Benjamin Franklin, but it could have been someone else, that for every minute you spend planning, you save three or four in execution. So if you just take 20 minutes today and do these two sheets after you watch this live, you are going to save probably an hour and a half to two hours as you go through your project this week. Now, if if you give me a quarter, I give you back a dollar, you do that, right? Like all day long and twice on Sunday. So the planning is important. And it's not just like planning what you want your room to be. It's It's a couple of things. One, I want you to think longer term. What is the vision for this space? What is the need for this space for your family for the next season? for summer, for the next year, however often you're going to do it. And then the second thing about planning is, how do you actually make it so you're mentally and physically able to take this time and focus on whatever area you want to do to the exclusion of all of your regular tasks? How do you get rid of the, the laundry, the dishes, the everything else that would normally take up your time so that you can focus it on this new thing? So those are the two things we're going to talk about. First thing I want you to do is you're going to pick an area, one area. One of the keys I found to being successful and getting organized is to continually go back to the same exact area over and over and over again so that you can get it all the way organized instead of a little bit of here, a little bit. This is not spring cleaning. This isn't like we're going to hit every room for 30 minutes. No, you're going to go back to one area. 
in the planables, we have three areas picked out for you that usually are the ones that people pick, and these are them. The garage, or whatever storage area is out of control. The kids' bedrooms, if you have children, or your master closet. Like, already can't you be like yes I want to pick all three okay pick three weeks <laughs> but do one do one all the way to completion through this process and then pick the next one and the next one and the next one if none of those appeal to you and you have baby organizing muscles I say organization is a learnable skill and you could grow your organizing muscles another fun one that's really easy to do in one week is your primary bathroom. Wherever you get ready in the morning, that's another one. I'm going to throw that in there as a bonus for those of you that are alive. So you're going to pick that one space. Let's do the bathroom today. We're going to pick the primary bathroom as our one space. Now I want you to dream a little bit. Oh my goodness, what would it feel like if you walked in your kids' rooms and you could walk in your kids' room? What, if, what would it feel like if you walked into your closet and you were able to get dressed with the clothes that are now seasonally appropriate? Like literally overnight, the turtlenecks and the sweaters are gone. I had to go in my closet and figure out what I can wear on a spring day. Like what would it feel like if you knew that your jeans fit, you had a couple of shirts that fit, you had shoes that didn't hurt your feet for spring? How would that feel? What would it feel like if you could walk through your garage or your storage area that you actually knew what you had and you could store a couple of things that you're buying for summer already? And what would it feel like if you got up in the morning and you got ready in the bathroom and you didn't forget to put on your deodorant <laughs> or spend 30 minutes trying to use sample sizes that never really pan out or try to look at 18 different colors of eyeshadow when different colors of eyeshadow aren't your thing what would it feel like if you got up, you got ready in the bathroom, and you got out, and there were no decisions to be made? Like, you didn't have to decide what color your eyeshadow was, and you never forgot to put deodorant on again. That was a big problem of mine for a while. I've solved it. I'll show you how I've solved it later this week. Okay, the next part of planning is to pick your times. When can you do that? And that leads to this page as well. Which week is this going to work best in, this week or a different week? And when you're planning out that week, uh, what hours are you available? Do you just have an hour a day after work? Are you going to take the week off of work or half days every single day? So you're going to have a longer amount of hours. How many hours do you have? When are those hours going to be? If you have those lovely little blessings of children, uh, what's your plan for them? <laughs> are they going to get more media time? Are they going to help you with the project? Are they going to go to grandma's because she's vaccinated? Like, what is your plan with your children? And then what is your meal plan? This was so key for me. Like, you're on vacation. You can have pizza and then Chipotle and then Skyline and the, like it could be all takeout week. Yes, that may be where you get your hour. You're not going to cook, you're not going to do dishes, and you're not going to clean up because you are going to get fast food every day this week and that's how you're going to get your food. Or you're going to do your spring break next week and this Sunday you are going to prep five meals that can be made in the crock pot or on the grill that are going to be really easy to make so that you don't have to do the from scratch cooking that you normally normally do. That is huge. Like if you don't take the time to figure out where your kids are going to go and what you're going to eat and what time of day you're going to do this, it's not going to happen. And then you're going to end up with a half finished project and you're going to be frustrated. The last thing that I want you to do today, and I'm going to try to keep these videos short. I could talk about this a lot. Let me just tell you is I want you to break your project down. So you've picked, a, you've picked a project. You've picked when you're going to do it. You've picked what time of day you're going to do it. You've eliminated childcare, food. Maybe you're going to get your laundry done at the dry cleaner this week. For me, I'm now getting Greg's and my laundry done at the dry cleaner, and it's usually about 14 pounds. It costs less than $20. So less than $20 for the dry cleaner to do all the pajamas, socks, and underwear, and you're going to do the other stuff next week maybe. Uh, that will save you some time too. Find your time, find your space, eliminate everything that you can from your housework so that you can go all in on your adult spring break. Pick your space. Whichever space you're in, now I want you to break it into three chunks. So if you're going to pick the garage or the storage room, I want you to do the left wall, the front wall, the side wall. Those are your three areas. If you're going to choose your uh, primary closet, then you're going to pick three areas. I'm going to do tops, I'm going to do bottoms, including shoes, and then I'm going to do everything else that I didn't hit in the tops and the bottoms. 
if you're picking where you get ready in the morning in the bathroom, you'd be like, okay, I'm going to do everything shower and bath related. I'm going to do everything makeup related. And then I'm going to do everything personal care related. Or I'm going to do uh, the linen closet. I'm going to do the vanity. I'm going to do the bath and shower area. See how you're picking three different areas. And then if you're doing the kids' rooms, you would want to pick clothes, toys, everything else that's in a bedroom. So you want to break that into three chunks already. Can't you see that your brain's going, oh, okay, clothes. All right, if we go through clothes, it's totally different than toys and books. It's totally different than everything else that's in a kid's room. You're chunking this and breaking it into smaller, actionable pieces so you get excited and you can see a start and finish in each of those small spaces. Then I want you to go back here, we're on the second page, and answer the rest of these questions in the middle. So we've picked our week, we've picked how many hours a day that we could do this, and also, let's say if you just have an hour a day as a possibility. You may not get through the space that you wanna get through in one week. Maybe you have a spring break project instead of a spring break blitz, and you're like, you know what, I'm gonna do this every night from seven to eight after dinner and before bed for the next three weeks or until it's done. Don't put the pressure on yourself that it has to happen in five days, it has to happen in a certain amount of time. You will see enough success that you'll wanna keep going back to that. So the next question is, what is your budget? I've had many projects around my house where the budget was zero. And if possible, could it net me some money? Like, could I end up selling things and end up making money from organizing a space? And I've had many projects like the one that I just got quotes for where I'm not going to, it's going to cost me a lot to have the entire house painted and I'm not going to do a single thing based on painting my house. So what is your budget? Making money, breaking even, spending money. And how much do you have to spend? And then really take a little bit of time and think about what can you do to support yourself during this project? Are you in a relationship? Do you need to get your spouse or your partner on board with having this adult spring break blitz? Is there something that they would want to work on that is not what you would want to work on? Maybe you're going to work on those two independently. Maybe you're going to go to that project first, and then when they get the reward, you get to do your project. Are there children or extended family members that are living with you that you want to get them on board? Let me just tell you how excited kids are going to be. If you're going to focus on their rooms for a week and it's their spring break and they know that part of this is going to be that every night we're having fast food, they'll be like, I want the happy meal. What do I have to do to get the happy meal? And what is the reward? We should all have a reward for having worked hard and done something different. Obviously, the organized space is going to be a reward, but what else do you want to do on your adult spring break blitz? If you get all of this done, do you want to download a new audiobook and listen to that? Do you want to go for a long walk? Do you want to, I'm, what do you want to do? What is your reward that you're going to get at the end of this project? Okay. These on Instagram will be launched into the IGTV. I'll be doing that next. If you're watching on Facebook, obviously it's gonna stay here on Facebook. We're also gonna download this, add it over to our YouTube channel. You could go there and watch the past adult spring break blitzes as well. But your assignment today is pick your week, pick how much time you're going to do, and then really take some time to plan out what is that space gonna look like and how are you going to work on eliminating some of the daily things that you do in your house so that you could get the time, energy, and the excitement to do this project. I will be back tomorrow. Remember, you could download the printables from the link there or just go to Organize 365. There's a banner right at the top that allowed you to download the printables. And my final call to action is going to be, for those of you that have been following me for a while, like you're not new to Lisa Woodruff and the whole organizing thing, this is the thing. This is the thing that you can invite your family and friends to and say, oh my gosh, I'm doing this adult spring break blitz. And if you want to get a space organized, um, I'd love to share with you Lisa Woodruff, who's helped me get other things organized. Share this blitz with your friends. It's super fun, super easy, totally free. We're all going to get one space organized by the end of this week or by the end of spring, and everyone will win. All right, guys, I'll be back at you tomorrow at 930. Have a great day.